Hello and welcome back friends. The new case in which the data of sales of two different years or two consecutive years and profits of two consecutive years is available. Of course, other data are available. Again, before solving the problem, we are going to memorize or taking a recap of the assumptions or basic assumptions of break-even analysis and profit planning. First, there is no change in selling price per unit during the period or periods under consideration. Similarly, no change in variable cost per unit during the period or periods under consideration. As the effect of these two, there will be no change or there is no change in contribution per unit. And hence, there is no change in PV ratio during the period or periods under consideration. There is no change in fixed cost during the period or periods under consideration. That means the fixed cost for these two years are equal and there is no stock opening or closing. Now, if the information regarding sales and profits of two different periods are available, we, it is advisable to follow a pattern of solving the problem. First, calculate or rather always calculate the PV ratio or contribution, whatever is possible. If sales quantity is available, we can calculate contribution per unit. If sales values are available, we can calculate sales or rather PV ratio. And after calculating PV ratio, we can calculate fixed cost on the basis of the pair of sales and profit of any one year or period and the PV ratio calculated. So let us first of all calculate PV ratio. Without calculating PV ratio and fixed cost, we cannot calculate anything else. So first of all, in this case, sales values are available. We have to calculate PV ratio. A new formula is to be used. That is, sorry, let us first of all say make a very small calculation that can be visualized and that is the calculation of change. What is the amount of change in sales or difference in sales of two different years? Higher minus lower says that there is a change of rupees 1 lakh or 100,000 in sales as well as 20,000 in profit. Since there is no change in selling price, no change in variable cost, no change in contribution per unit, why should there be change in total sales values as well as profit? That is because of change in sales quantity. Since the quantity has changed, the value of sales has changed. Since the quantity has changed, the total variable cost changed. Since the quantity changed, total contribution changed. But from two different total contributions, we wrote off same amount of fixed cost. So there is same change in profit. So the change in profit exactly is equal to the change in total contribution. The ratio, oh sorry, formula of PV ratio is contribution upon sales. We have sales, but we don't have contribution. So, if we extend the same logic, we can use the formula change in profit. That is equivalent to change in contribution upon change in sales. So, we are going to calculate PV ratio by the new formula, which is the extended version of the original formula. Change in profit actually the wording should be change in contribution but since the problem shows the information regarding profit we are using the term profit because change in profit is exactly equal to change in contribution upon change in sales the change in profit is rupees 20,000 the change in sales is rupees 100,000 or 1 lakh so the PV ratio comes to 0.2, more precisely 20%. Now we have PV ratio. And we have sales and profits of two different years. If we take a pair of any of these two, sales and profit, and the PV ratio, we can easily calculate fixed cost through the formula of sales. Sales equals to fixed cost plus profit. And since we are taking sales value, we have to take PV ratio as the denominator. Just remember, we should take the pair of the sales and profit. Either take sales as well as profit for the first year or for the second year. Never take each from any one year. No, we have to maintain the pair. 
Let us take the sales and profit of the first year. Sales is rupees two hundred thousand. Fixed cost missing. Profit for the first year against two lakh is rupees twenty thousand. And PV ratio has been calculated is twenty percent. The cross multiplication will give us the sales into PV ratio that is contribution for the first year. That is rupees forty thousand two lakh into twenty percent. Fixed cost plus twenty thousand. So ultimately, the logic that contribution minus profit is fixed cost gives us fixed cost of rupees twenty thousand. This is the fixed cost of first year. That will be the fixed cost of second year because there is no change in the fixed cost during the periods under consideration. Or you can calculate the fixed cost by taking the sales as well as profit of the second year. Three lakh multiplied by twenty percent will be sixty thousand, but profit will be. Forty thousand. If you take statistics of second year, then also fixed cost will come to rupees twenty thousand. So the fixed cost is equal in both the years. Yes. Now we can calculate everything. We have been asked to calculate BEP, margin of safety, profit if sales are blah blah blah, or sales if profit is blah blah blah. Let us calculate all the things. First of all, BEP. Again, we can calculate break-even sales values only. And BEP will be same for the two years because PV ratio and fixed cost remain constant. That will be rupees twenty thousand divided by twenty percent. So the BEP for both the years come to rupees one lakh. For the first year it was one lakh. For the second year also it was one lakh. Now second margin of safety. Margin of safety means sales minus BEP. Since sales have changed, margin of safety for both the years will be different. Margin of safety first year will be two lakh sales minus one lakh BEP. That means rupees one lakh. And margin of safety for the second year will be. Sales rupees three lakh or three hundred thousand, but BEP for the second year also will be one hundred thousand or one lakh. So margin of safety of the second year comes to rupees two lakh. If we multiply margin of safety by PV ratio, there will be profit. We can reconcile our answer. One lakh into twenty percent profit is twenty thousand. Two lakh into twenty percent profit is forty thousand. So our both the margin of safety calculated are correct. That means. B B is also correct. Now find out the amount of profit if sales are rupees four lakh. If sales equal to rupees four lakh, then we need to find out the profit. If we trade take straight line trend into consideration, we can predict that. If the sales are rupees four lakh, profit can be rupees sixty thousand because at two lakh, at one lakh BEP profit is zero. At sales of two lakh, it is twenty thousand. At sales of three lakh, it is forty thousand. So against every one lakh rupee increase in sales, profit increases by rupees twenty thousand because PV ratio is twenty percent. So if sales again increase by rupees one lakh, the profit will again increase by rupee. Twenty thousand, so it must be sixty thousand. Let us calculate it in the other way. We are going to use formula of sales. Sales given to be rupees four hundred thousand or four lakh. Fixed cost as we have rupees twenty thousand. Profit is missing, and PV ratio twenty percent. Cross multiplication gives us the So oh, total contribution of eighty thousand four lakh multiplied by twenty percent, fixed cost twenty thousand plus profit. So profit is contribution minus fixed cost. Therefore, profit comes to rupees sixty thousand. Because of the assumptions of no change in selling price, variable cost, as a result contribution or PV ratio and fixed cost, the there is straight line relationship between sales and profit. So we can say find out the profit without any working. But as we know, 
we are going to attempt this type of questions in the examination and in the examination you can get marks only if you write the answer on paper number four if we desire profit of rupees 50,000 what should be the sales okay again profit is between 40,000 and 60,000 so sales must be between 3 lakh and 4 lakh so we can roughly predict that sales may come as a final answer of the working rupees 350,000 or 3 lakh 50,000 due to straight line relationship or linear relationship but let us calculate the sales required sales equals to I am not going to repeat the formula fixed cost rupees 20,000 profit desired given to be 50,000 PV ratio 20% so we want total contribution of rupees 70,000 at the rate of 20% of sales so for that purpose sales should be rupees 350,000 or rupees 350,000 these are the calculations but the important thing assumptions thank you very much